Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look for the GameSir X2S Type-C Wired Mobile Gaming Controller. Now, this controller is actually going to be coming out pretty soon. I, I believe they told me by the end of February or maybe early March. So, let's take a look at this. Like you see here in the front, this is how it looks. It's one of those controllers that is more makes it look more like a Nintendo Switch, right? Uh, I have this controller that I've been using. This is from GameStore as well. This is the GA Galileo. And it's pretty damn good, but it's it's a little bit more similar to the Backbone, right? It has like the controls of a, of a controller, USB-C, and it's meant to be more, to feel more like a, con like a console controller, right? So this one, let's go and show you guys. I already have, uh, I think a couple videos old already. I think like one or two, I think more than a year old, where I record a video for this, for the X2, but the old model. And I think the last one that I did was actually an Xbox exclusive one that had the Xbox logo and all that. Ah, let me go and show you guys something. I believe the sticks are actually Hall Effect sticks, the triggers, let me see, it says uh, micro switch, three million strokes, um, precision tune, hall effect, analog triggers as well, and plug and play, USB-C. Of course, this is going to be compatible with uh, iPhone 15 since it has USB-C. And it says here, the parallel performance, await your command. And let's go see. This is the first time I'm actually taking this out of the box. Okay, Okay. so here, of course, you got, I think there's a cable here. Is it? No, I don't think so. Well, wait, they put something here. Oh, look at this. It has little covers for this sticks, which I think we're going to have to use because they are tiny. And uh, other than that, I think you got just instruction manuals and stickers from GameSir. And that's it, just instruction manuals in there. There's no charging cable. Because I believe just like the ones before, this does not have battery. It uses the battery from your cell phone. And other than that, there's nothing more in the inside. And here it is. Look at that. I like the color. It's like a lavender and gray color. Looks pretty cool. Like very light purple. That looks very nice. Here in the back, look how cool this looks. Now, I most likely this comes in other colors. Okay, most likely it does come in all the colors, which I hope so, because not everybody's going to be a fan of this, you know, color pattern. For me, it looks cool. Gray, light gray, and like lavender. You got the logo right there. The triggers, their Hall Effect triggers. Okay, and you got the shoulder buttons. And the sticks, of course. And look at the sticks. You're definitely going to need this. You're definitely going to need this if you want this to actually feel like a more normal size uh, thumbsticks. Look at that. You got the D-pad, which I think in my opinion, the D-pad, they have been getting better than before. And of course, this is how far it extends. So here I got the Pixel 8 Pro and look how much bigger, almost a little bit more bigger than the iPhone, than the 8 Pro. There you go. Let me go ahead and plug this in to see how it recognizes it. There's no RGB at all, I believe. Okay, yeah, this fits perfectly. I don't think there's gonna be, you will be able to fit anything more bigger. Yeah, you won't be able to fit anything more bigger than that. Look at that little more space you got there. Like, okay. So this is how it fits. Like you see, uh, let me see if it, okay, there's a little light right there, letting you see that it's connected. Uh, we click right here, it's going to open it up, there you go, look at that, very cool looking. I like these controllers, I, I, I don't know where I got the other one, but I believe they had the black one that had like Xbox buttons, that was pretty cool. Here you got the A, B, X, Y button, you got this right here, which is the home button, over here I believe this takes you, okay, sometimes, I, I guess this one doesn't, but other times I used to take like screenshots. You got the G, okay, you got this right here. And, uh, oh, here, if you need to charge the phone while you're playing, you can plug it right there. Just plug it right there, and it'll charge the phone. This is how it looks in the back with it connected. And let me see something. 
just couldn't see okay we can navigate using the buttons here and uh you know what let me go ahead and try thirsty suitors this is a game that i really like a lot of people don't haven't been playing this game a lot but i think it's one of the coolest uh, indie games that i've been playing in since last year i still i'm not far in this game but it's really really cool i like it so yeah let me know in the comments what you think about it i think it actually looks pretty cool you know but of course i hope they actually come with other colors because not everybody's going to be fan of this you know lavender light gray looking console uh let me see can i put of course save file is loaded let me see man i should have put this before turning this on yeah okay okay look at that <clears throat> look at that way better with this and look at this over here so look better here or better here better here or better here i think it looks better here okay so here we are this is the thirsty suitor game which is very cool because you do skating in this game yep flip over flip over the controls do feel really nice, that's for sure. Uh, I believe it goes like this, the trigger, you press it, and she does different tricks. Look at that. Look at that. Woohoo! Oh yeah guys, it does feel way better than before. It does feel way better than before. So yeah, this game, uh, the, other, the other cool thing about this controller is that this will also be cheaper than this over here, uh, than the GA Galileo. This, I believe, is supposed to go for less than 50 bucks. And I think it's supposed to be less than 50 bucks. Um, also has a different prices depending where you live at, of course. You know, but that's pretty damn awesome. And it feels good. It feels good. I think they have improved the controls. Because I feel that the, the way the buttons respond actually feels really smooth. Uh, yeah. This trigger actually feels nice too. So if we want to get into a little bit of combat here. You just have to stop right there. Oh, nope. Get over here, girl. Press the X. Yeah. You're going to get into a little combat here yeah <laughs> the combat i i like it because it's like a turn-based rpg i brought you a surprise uh let's just fight your so you choose here and attack oh. yeah you also do counter attacks like make sure you time these buttons skills skills use like combinations of buttons there you go. So that has to be accurate because uh, if not, you'll receive damage. Oh, also when you when they attack you, sometimes you have to also do some combinations as well. There you go. Fair. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wash his ass. Oh, he's getting back up. See? Use the button. Bam! <laughs> awesome. Ooh, very good. So you see, the rep the buttons are very, very responsive. Is it? Ah, I missed that one. <laughs> I'm a modern man. Uh oh. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish this right here. If I click right here, I'll, I should have taken a picture.
picture, but I guess it's not taking a picture. I can go ahead and quit over here whenever I want. And of course, I'm using this, right? I'm using this, but you can actually also use it with games that are compatible with uh, controller as well. So if you have games on your phone that are compatible with controllers, this will also be compatible with it as well. And like I said, I'm using Google Pixels 8 Pro, but you can also use the iPhone 15. So if you're on iPhone 15, you could use this as well. Look at that, we put the other one right there, which makes it feel better. I definitely recommend to actually put these if you have your own, I think they will also fit as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll leave links in my descriptions when this officially actually comes out. And um, other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. But the only thing that I can really tell you, I really don't know the exact price of this, but the only thing that I can really tell you is that this will be cheaper than the Galileo, which I think goes for 80 bucks. I think this goes for 80 bucks. And of course, the backbone goes for around 100 bucks. Uh, this, I believe, should be like half that. I think it should be like 45 or 50 bucks, depending in the region where you live at. Uh, when you're done gaming, just take it out and get it out of here. This has some flexibility as well, so it's not going to damage your USB-C port, so don't worry about that. Other than that, that's it, guys. This was a look at the X2 S Type-C controller for Android and iPhone 15 as well. Thanks for watching. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.